Hi right, guys, welcome back to the Rollout Podcast. This is the betting show here for the 2023 Waste Management Phoenix Open. And uh, we're going to just jump right into it and um, get going into this week because we didn't really have much last week. So let's uh, forget about last week. I'm just kidding, we'll talk about last week because it's always good to look back and uh, figure out where we went wrong. But looking forward to this week and hopefully we hit a winner. So, I was just scrolling through and looking at the board to look at some things. But uh, first, I just wanted to say, um, man, rough week. Um, you know, for as high as I was on Brendan Todd and uh, Keith Mitchell on DraftKings, I should have made some placement bets on the guys because uh, I would have got a little bit of my money back. But... It is what it is. Um, I didn't have any outright bets on Keith Mitchell or Brendan Todd. Um, but I did on Jordan Spieth, and you see how that went for me. So not too well after that Max Homa um, win two weeks ago. Not too good. But uh, looking forward to this week and um, what we got going on. So it's interesting. Um this board was a little crazy when it first came out because uh, it got adjusted today, but yesterday, because these odds have been up for a really long time, uh, but yesterday they the board was so uh, like compact towards the top. Like a lot of these guys were only uh, they were only uh, like they were not even longer than twenty. I don't Colin Colin Morka was under twenty. Justin Thomas was under 20. I believe Patrick Cantlay was under 20. Like, there was a lot of guys that were under 20 to 1 on the board uh, before they adjusted them this week. So, um, not betting on Rom. Uh, I don't think he's going to win. I think that streak of him winning is kind of done. Um, I think we're going to see some other people win now. I think John Rom's going to kind of take a sidestep for a little bit. Um, I could see Rory winning, but I'm not betting Rory at nine to one. Um, I believe that that number got a little bit better, but yeah, um, not betting Rory at nine to one. Also, I wanted to point out if you are betting on DraftKings Sportsbook, uh, make sure you get in on the boost that they have this week, uh, kind of like they did last week, where you could add plus three hundred on any uh, golfer to win. Uh, this week they have plus 250 um, added on to whoever you want. So take advantage of that. Uh, we'll get to the guy that I did that with here in a little bit. But looking at the next tier down, uh, we have Xander Schauffele, whose number has went up. I believe he opened at 11 to 1. Him and Scotty. I think Scotty was at 11 as well. So I'm hoping that this number on Xander uh, by the you know, time Thursday morning comes around, maybe gets to 18, maybe 20, possibly, because um, I will bet that at that point, but right now I'm staying away from it. I'm hoping it maybe gets a little bit longer. I'm not betting Scotty because I just don't think, uh, I don't know, he's just, Scotty was my man last year, but it just seems like uh, he's not, not ready to compete. Um, Sorry if you hear my dog squeaking her toy in the background. I apologize. But getting to who I uh, am kind of <laughs> all in on this week and who I was all in, you know, because I was kind of like all in on Jordan Spieth last week. Um, I'm all in on Tony Fino this week. Now, his number has fallen quite a bit since I've got it. Um, he's at 18-1 now. I don't really like that at now. But I got him this morning at 25 to one. Um, and I used my boost, the 250 boost on him. So I actually had him at 27 and a half to one. Um, so I really like Tony Fino this week. I think he's got a really good chance of winning here. I bet him for a top five as well. Uh, yeah, I just really like Tony this week. I mean, I'm using Tony on DraftKings. I'm, uh, We'll get to him a little bit later uh, in another segment. But, yeah. But I'm staying away from uh, – I don't like Cantlay. Um, like, 
I don't like Justin Thomas's game is just not where it needs to be right now. Uh, Max Homa's number dropped. I believe he was at sixteen to one this morning. Um, he's down to twenty two to one. Colin Morikawa was at. I want to say Colin was at twenty five to one with Tony Finau. So that number has come down to twenty to one. Someone that who uh, that has drastically come down is Sung J M. Sung J opened this morning at uh, thirty five to one, and now he's down to twenty two to one. And I will say, this is the second bet on my betting card. Sung J M at thirty five to one this morning was my second bet. Um, that I I not I wouldn't be betting him at twenty two to one. Um, no way. But uh. Hideki at 28 is kind of interesting. Hideki's got a great course history here. He's won here twice. Um, game kind of seems like it's coming back around. So I wouldn't mind, you know, throwing something on Hideki. I think I'm done with my betting card this week. I've got four bets that I'm, I am like a lot. Uh, I've got some placement bets as well. Uh, maybe I'll get in on some matchups this week. Uh, might get in on a playoff bet. I think it was like 3-1 to one earlier for to go to a playoff because it's this event's gone to a playoff five of the last seven times. Uh, so, yeah, Tom Kim at twenty-eight to one. I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm not. I don't think. I don't. I think we got a little bit for Tom Kim to roll back around and become a winner. Um, honestly, not much else is like interesting me here. Uh, no on Victor at thirty. No one Cam Young at 30. That number's dropped a lot. I think he was at 45 or 50 this morning. Yeah, that's insane. Uh, definitely out on Jordan Speed. He is on my shit list for a while. Um, I thought about, you know, Speed at the Masters, but man, I don't know. Something's wrong. And I can tell you, it starts with the, the flat stick. He, whew, yikes. He could not make a putt to save his life this weekend. Um... I'm good on Matt Fitzpatrick. Just, just doesn't seem like a course that, like, I think Matt is really good on difficult tracks. And, yeah, I can't wait to bet him and play him on a difficult track. Uh, who knows? You know, maybe, maybe Memorial. Uh, I don't know about the Masters, but um, U.S. Open again. Uh, but, yeah. Sam Burns was at 55 to 1 this morning. He's down to 45 to 1. Don't like that. Sahith was at 50. He's at 45. Don't like that. Uh, Ricky above a lot of these guys below him is just crazy to me. Uh, Tyrrell Hatton at 50. Might not be a bad shout. Might not be a bad shout at 50. Um, especially with the way he's been playing over at or overseas. Uh, but my next bet, which this number got a little bit better since I bet on him. But this morning, I bet Taylor Montgomery 50-1. to 1. I told you guys, I'm not missing out on him. I'm going to get his win. And when I do, I'm going to laugh. Because it's going to probably take me 20 freaking times betting him before I get it. But I got him at 50-1. to 1. I also have a top 20 bet on him. I could see him getting... I mean, he could, go, he could compete. He can compete. Um, he, he can score. Uh, so yeah, I like, I like Taylor Montgomery, um, and I'm not going to miss out on him winning. So I'm going to bet him again. Um, the only other bet I have, uh, I have one more, um, and actually he's right here. Uh, Chris Kirk was my fourth bet, but I got Chris Kirk at 130 to one. So don't really like him at 80 to one. Um, I'm trying to see if there's anybody else down here that I would bet like right now to win. Um, I just don't want to go too far down. I mean, it just doesn't make sense this week to go this far down. Um, I think if I were to add anybody onto my card, uh, it would probably be like Tyrrell Hatton or Hideki Matsuyama. Uh, or for sure one I'll add later on in the week is Xander Schauffele if he gets to like 18, 20 to 1. We'll see. We'll see if that moves. But um, yeah, that's the only other guy that I'm really looking at to uh, bet. If Hideki goes back down to like 35 to 1, I'll just probably throw something on him. Just because he, oh, excuse me, he can um, 
He can get it done here. I mean, literally in a three-year span, he was runner-up, winner, winner. That's kind of crazy. So, and course history is kind of important here. And his game seems to be coming back around. So, I'm probably talking myself into Hideki Matsuyama, to be honest. But, um, yeah. So, then moving to one and done this week. Didn't really work out for me. The, you know, the last two weeks have just been tragic. I have Max Homa. I switch off of Max Homa to Maverick McNeely. And Max Homa wins. And then I'm all in on speed. He makes the cut. And then he basically finishes dead last after making the cut. And then uh, I think this is a week where you burn a big bullet. And uh, you play one of these big guys if you have them. Like, for instance, uh, I, st I don't have John Rahm. But I have, like, all these guys at the top. I have Rory. I have Xander. I have Scotty. I have Tony. I don't have Patrick Cantlay. I have Justin Thomas. I have Colin Morikawa. I still have Homa. I still have M. I used Hideki. I still have Tom Kim. I used Hovland. I still have Cam Young, Matt Fitzpatrick. Burned speed last week. But I, and I burned Montgomery already. But I got a T5 out of him. So I'll take that. Um, but I think this is where you burn one of these guys at the top. And the guy I'm all in on this week is big tony fee now chunky tony something about chunky tony that's just hitting a little different recently he's just he's he's something about him being chunky he's making him win or something i don't know but uh yeah i uh i'm all in on fee now this week i'm betting him i am using him one and done i'm using him in DraftKings. so there it is tony fee now he's gonna be the uh, thumbnail so um that's all i got for betting uh you know let's just let's just see what kind of fun things i got real quick uh what is this tournament special big guns versus the field the field minus 285 versus big guns ron mcelroy shuffler shuffler interesting winner in the final grouping i think that will definitely happen let's see what they got for double triple chance John Ron, Roy McIlroy, uh, Justin Thomas to win? Nah. Can I get like a Xander, Tony Fino? Oh, if this was like Xander, Tony Fino, and Hideki, I would have taken that. Is Tony Fino not in any of these? Oh, right here. Xander, Speed, or Tony Fino. Can I get like a Xander and Tony Fino on a double? That'd be nice. That'd be cool. Where's the doubles? Where, did they have doubles or is it just... Oh, right here. Okay. Uh, let's see. They got a lot of three three chance uh, this week. It must be they're trying to take everybody's money this week. Um, if there's a Xander Tony Fino, I'll probably throw some money on it. But it doesn't look like I'm going to get that. Damn, that sucks. What? Uh, what's the best one with Tony Fino? Patrick Cantlay, Tony Fino, Xander Shoffley, Jordan Speed, Xander Shoffley, Cam Young, Scotty Scheffler, Xander. Ah, man, if they had a Tony Fino. And Xander Shoffley, I'd have been all over that. But maybe I'll do, uh, what was that one that was up here? It was, who? It was Xander and Tony Fino. And who else? Jordan Speed. <sighs> Speed kind of, you know, kills those odds, but I'll, I, might, I might put some money on that. Plus 550. Why not? Uh, what else? Anything else? Winning. Uh, I, I like that playoff prop. I might bet on that. And what else we got? Oh, we got specific winning margins. Oh, do we got Tony Fino by one? Can I get Tony Fino by one? No, it has to be by two. Tony Fino to win by two on more strokes. Well, it's literally at the odds I outright bet him on. So, uh, 
but those are interesting. Those are fun. I think I'll definitely uh I'll definitely throw some money on the uh Tony Fino ninety to one to win uh, to lead after round one and win. Uh what was that one? The three chance the uh Xander The only thing I don't like about that one is just like it doesn't seem like the third like Jordan Spieth just doesn't have as much win equity like as like see like this is plus 550 or I could play like John Rahm, Xander Shoffley, Hideki Matsuyama plus 380 yeah I don't know all right well we're rambling at this point so don't forget when we get to 50 subscribers we're doing a giveaway not sure if it's going to be like an entry into a contest or if it's going to be uh, I just like PayPal you the money Venmo whatever and you can use it however you want to place a bet uh, maybe we do line up together um, I we could do the lineup together and you can keep the win so uh, however I'm we'll figure that out we're, we got a little bit of ways before we get to 50 subscribers so um, we got a little bit of time to decide on that but I will be doing something for 50 subscribers um, so if this helps you uh, make any bets or you know get off of any bad bets or anything like that leave a like uh, leave a comment as to who your favorite bet is this week uh, who, who you're using in one and done um, anything like that any placement bets whatever whatever your favorite bet is just let me know um, so let's uh, let's get another outright winner this week and uh, Hopefully Big Tone can pay off for the big guy here or else uh, I need a win here and one and done. I need a bad. So, all right. I will see you guys next week for Genesis. I believe Genesis is next week, which I'm excited for. So, um, yeah, good luck this week, guys, and see you around.